Welcome, welcome back to my channel and for today's video it's going to be a first day of school get ready with me and vlog. Today is my first day of school. It is Thursday, August 4th, 2022 and I'm starting 6th grade and it's like 820 something right now. For the first couple of weeks the bus can come as late as 845 so right now we're just standing out here taking pictures and videos. As you can see, I'm already ready, so you're gonna see me get ready right now. Oh my goodness! That is so cute! Okay guys, so I'm at the bus stop now and I didn't get to vlog much leaving out and stuff because we had to get out the door. But yeah, right now I'm waiting for the bus and I can't have my phone in school so I won't be able to vlog in school. The only time we can have our phone is on the bus and in between our classes and we only have like two minutes in between classes. I'll film on the bus but just not in school. So right now it's 8.28 a.m. and I just kind of wanted to like talk for a little bit. I've never been to school this late before. I'm usually on the bus at like 6.40 something. But I actually like going to school at a later time. Number one, because you get to sleep in more. And number two, because it's right outside when you go outside. So you just feel better because it looks better outside. I don't know what else to say. I'm 
It is currently 5.34 p.m. and I am just walking home. My backpack is from Roxy. Um, my overalls are from Dillard's. This plain white t-shirt is just from Target. Um, and then my socks are from Vans and my shoes are from Vans. So, there were a lot of people towards the end of the day. There were a lot of people trying to get to their buses on the bus. Like I felt like there was max capacity on the bus. Like on the bus, there was like three, four people in every single seat. And that is just like, even like with COVID going around, like that is just all like, you know. And then also in the gym, everyone on the little bla blazers, bleachers. Um, when the sixth graders were there, it was literally like an empty gym. But then when the seventh and eighth graders came, I wanted to talk about my locker and like my school supplies. I have a locker now. I'm a pro at opening lockers. Like this is my first time, but I'm so good at it. I didn't have any problems, but we only have like two minutes in between classes. So I feel bad for the people that don't exactly get it yet. There's like people all around that can help. But like if, if I like mess up on my locker or something and I can't open it, makes me a little late to my classes, but like everything is late in the first couple of weeks. So they understand. Hi. Hi. So I kind of wanted to talk about my first day, starting from the last time you guys saw me in the morning before I went to school, which was on the bus. This morning when I was getting on the bus, it was super quick. Like I was just sitting, waiting there, and you couldn't even hear the bus coming up. Like literally, out of nowhere the bus just pops up and I'm like oh and then he like stops right there so I like try to rush to put my backpack on and it falls off kind of so I'm like oh my god like I can't even get my phone out to start recording so I recorded while I was already on and basically I just sent bye to my mommy and I said hi to the bus driver and I found a seat and I just like sat there like oh my god I'm really going to school right now and I was like that last year because that last year was my first year back in person. I'm like, I'm going to school. So yeah, that was the bus. And then I got to, I'm so sorry I couldn't record and I'm just like telling you everything that happened. But I got to school and we got off the bus. We went straight into the building and I went straight to first period, which was advanced science. And we didn't have much time in that class because everyone was trying to get into the school and get settled and that took a while. So after I went to first period, we only had like 10 minutes and she's one of my favorite teachers as of right now, as of the first day in open house. She just showed us the, the procedures, just like cell phone rules, bathroom, basic stuff to know when we're starting our first day. Oh, before that, we went to our locker and opening my locker was like a breeze. Other people can think it's really hard, but like I'm willing to help. Like I, if you, if you ask me to open your locker for you, like I'll be like anytime. I got my stuff for first, second, and third period and lunch. We can't have backpacks in the classroom, so I had to put that in my locker. Then we went to first period. After first period, we went straight to second period, and my second period was reading the reading class was upstairs and to the left so i went in there and it was super fun going up the stairs and one of my friends from last year she was in my class she was there reading is not a graded class like all we we're going to be doing is reading reflecting on our reading improving our reading stuff like that so after second period is third period that period is the longest period we have lunch in that period we go to lunch with our period teacher I'm saying period a lot, but that class is advanced ELA. Basically in each class, we didn't really do any work. It was just, it's the first day. So we just met our teacher, met some classmates, and just kind of like went over the basic stuff for the first day for each class. We also found out what we needed for each teacher in that class. And we did a little activity along with it. So that was basically every class today. After that, um, we went to lunch and we were zone one. There's three zones in the cafeteria. And so 
I went to the lunch line and I got um, school lunch and I could not find a place to sit in the lunchroom. I, I just, I didn't know where to sit. So I sat with like this group of Indian girls and I blended right in. Um, after I ate my food, I was still pretty hungry though. I had like these mini chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce and ketchup and a banana, broccoli, and juice. But I was still starving. After lunch was fourth period, which was social studies. And if you know me, you know I hate social studies. Mom. If you guys know me, you know I hate social studies. But my teacher, she is like the coolest person ever. You can tell she's been like teaching for a really long time because like when she talks, she knows what to say. I love her voice, the way she talks. She's just like such a cool, amazing person. I feel like I'm gonna start liking social studies because of her. In social studies, we just like did a little paper like about ourselves like every class. Then was a fifth period accelerated mathematics. And in that class, we just did a little activity with like trying to make five squares with a bunch of different pieces. It's like that game, hex something, I'll put it on the screen. But then it was sixth period, um, I had Thrive and Connect. Um, basically it was just, I have to look on the website like what Thrive and Connect is, a proper definition of what Thrive and Connect is. But basically in that class, I'm going to be posting a lot of school vlogs. In those school vlogs, I'll eventually explain what Thrive and Connect is the more we start doing the activities for that class. But today we just played a little game, it's called 5 Second Rule. Like he would pick two random people, they would compete, and the card would say something like name three types of popsicles and whoever would get it in five seconds first wins then seventh period seventh period was science connections and guys i'm learning forensic science um if you don't know what forensic science is it's basically science but it's like figuring out mysteries and like crimes the classroom is a courtroom and we are investigators trying to figure out who murdered the dead person you know um we did an activity it's called true colors and we basically just like did a paper to figure out which color we were based on our personality we did that because um we're gonna be working in groups a lot like i said for the forensic mysteries and um our teacher needs to know basically like who we will work good with and who we won't so we're doing like a little activity on that we'll continue it tomorrow but then the last period was PE and we didn't really do anything for PE yet. They showed us where the locker rooms are. We didn't go in there, but they showed us like where we're gonna have a combination for our locker things, I don't know. And then we just like sat around, figured out our bus number and then it was dismissal. And then finally, my bus got dismissed at five something. That was my day today and I can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow has a lot more to come. Stay tuned for more school vlogs and just so much more. I will catch you guys when I'm doing something else for CS Core related. Hey guys, so last time you saw me, I was really emotional over just today in general and this video that my mom made. Oh my gosh. This is the sweetest thing ever, but I just got so emotional. I think like I'm even two hours later, I'm still replaying it over and over again. Like it makes me teary eyed like every time. So I think that that kind of just like shifted my day just from all the emotions. 
it's 9 27 p.m right now and i was supposed to have been getting ready for bed an hour and a half ago at eight but it's okay because a lot of things are delayed since it's the first couple of days slash weeks of school if i don't get right on time every single day then that's fine i wrote down some of my new school year resolutions and i think that they're really good and i really wanted to follow them okay guys so i'm about to get ready for bed shower night routine stuff like that but that concludes this first day of school vlog i thought i was gonna get like pliables or a crumble and go out and do something but um i didn't today i usually like celebrate throughout the week though so today's not the only day so that's fine i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when i post a new video every sunday i will see you guys next week with a new video bye